tell you a little bit about this story. They do a lot of crap, but it is sales. They were over $750,000 over plan. Plan, 24 cops, contribution, almost three quarters of a million dollars. <laughs> contribution, 133% over plan. Damn. Let's stop there. She'll be all 6.5 on a scale of 7. Damn. The company with a how we do it score very good and excellent 91%. Yeah. 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 The team plans together as a team, and then they raise their goal. They raise their goals in the head as a team. Every associate on the team is totally empowered. They are truly a team. They believe and they embody every essence of the team. So an unbelievable great pleasure. The story of the year for 2009. Seth Wolcott. Yeah!
Unlike your, the type of boat our customers tend to use, it's kind of a, one of the widest mixes I think I've ever seen. Number one customer is the family of three and a half. Small powerboat, probably 20 feet. We like to go out on the weekends, work hard all week. So our goal with them is to make their boating experience start when they hit the store, not the lake. I'm lucky. I work for one of the most gifted young managers anywhere. I have been better managed and encouraged to better manage here in this environment at any time in a 40-year career. We want to make the customers comfortable. Our goal is not to, quote, sell you on something. Our goal is to satisfy your needs. And the team uh, gets along extremely well. And our customers become part of that team. Seth's leadership is uh, phenomenal. It's just, it's just really amazing. I would have never believed anywhere I've ever shopped even that we could provide, anybody could provide customer service like we do. There's nothing we can't do. And we know that if we want to do something, we have a plan. We arrange it, organize it. It's well detailed. We know what the return is going to be on it. We can do it. 2009, the plan started out actually well in early into 2008, looking forward to what we're going to do, what we wanted to do, what challenges we had. We hired for the right people. That was obviously the first part of the plan. Second part of the plan is the customer experience, UFA, and customer experience includes having the right products at the right times, and we realized we had some huge growth areas, and so we plan to grow those even more. If the customers love what we did in 08, well, let's do it in 09, and laid it all out on the line, and as we were going through the year, uh, we realized that going for budget was kind of like shooting a little low, so went to comps, and uh, that was pretty low too, so we started making our own goals after that point in time. And, uh, I guess a predominant moment in my mind was in June of last year. The team decided, let's go, let's go for the best month we've ever had in the history of the store. And the great part is on the last day of June, everybody in the entire store was checking about every 10 minutes, where are we? Are we there yet? It's a complete total focus. Through the customer experience, we were actually able to improve all of the other financial lines, gross margin, and through that, and controlled expenses, our contribution is actually, we had a record year in 2009 for the bottom line. We really entrepreneurially managed the store as if we owned it. We work for our customers and we hone that edge every day. But in this store, our ultimate, our ultimate compliment is when a customer says, I like dealing with a local company a local owned store. You guys really understand us. Everybody in West Marine, from the truck associate, the cashier, to Jeff Eisenberg, we are a team and we work together. And it's incredibly important that we all realize that we are all working towards the same goal, which is to be the best voting products company every day. Go!